Eugene here with a review on the Figure Art Zero Rockman X Sigma. Yes, friends. So well, let's go ahead and take a look at the box real quick. Got a nice window here of the statue itself. And of course, got a picture of the statue right here. And right here, it says Figure Art Zero Sigma, and it says Rockman X right here. This says right here Bandai uh, Collector Shop, meaning this is an exclusive. On the top of the box, got the 25th anniversary of, uh, of Rockman. And of course, right here it says Sigma, Figure Art Zero, Rockman X. On the bottom, nothing. On the side, it just shows you more awesomeness of the statue. And I'm going to keep referring to it as um, in this review. On the other side, another nice coming at you of Sigma. And on the back of the box, it just shows you the final battle uh, between X and uh, Sigma, which is really, really cool. So, uh, anyway, early on the box, it said Figure Art Zero. Well, Figure Art Zero is a line that is non-articulated. And so, mainly, zero means zero articulation. And so, uh, anyway, the scope... Um, the design and scope of this Sigma statue is very nicely done. The paint on Sigma is very nice, kind of got a nice sheen to it, just like what we would see in the artwork. So look at his eyes, friends. I mean, done in a nice metallic blue, um, uh, giving him more of an evil look with his grin. And look at that grin, like he's either doing some shouting or something. But look at his eyes, done in a nice purple, his vertical scars. If you guys remember his uh, where he got his vertical scars from, I'm not going to spoil it, but, you know, that's pretty much how it happens. Uh, but anyway, look at his chest. Got a nice green here and got a jewel right here. And then got his emblem right here. Really, really nice. Look at his abs right here. Really, really nice. And right here he uh, uh, is his belt, done in a nice red here. And then right here on his side, I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, flashlight in, in case you guys can't see it. But there's his uh, saber. Really, really nice. And so, uh, anyway, um, he's got the yellow right here. And, uh, of course, the black pants here. And then he's got um, on his arms and his uh, uh, boots, he's got the spikes right here. So... And then uh, there's his boots here. Got the uh, little, like a little uh, crunch from the boots a little bit here. And got the green here. Really, really nice. And look at the side here. Really, really nice. Um, and uh, clearly on the hands here, you can see uh, he's got like the red lining, you know, with the uh, white here pretty much. And uh, here's the other one with the up, one up in the air. But uh, really, really cool, I have to say. And of course, inside the cape, he's got like a mixture of black and a little bit of light purple and, you know, mainly for the cape, you know. But really, really nice. Uh, uh, done really, really nice here. Um, but uh, anyway, um, I'm going to uh, tilt him down so I can give you guys a better uh, look at this. And I'm going to have to get my trusty flashlight here just so you guys can see. But uh, pretty much, um, Sigma, uh, without his cape, Sigma has like a V-shaped formation of spikes. And so there's his spikes. I don't know if you guys can see it, and I apologize if you can't see it. Uh, let's see if I can kind of raise up the cape a little bit here. And so... But anyway... Uh, you get the gist, but yeah, he has a uh, V formation of spikes on his back when his cape is not even on. Now, on the back, look how nice uh, the effect of the cape is, you know. Um, pretty much, uh, it, on the back, he's got these shady details with the cape. Um, you know, uh, giving, uh, you know, giving the wrinkles and effects, making it more realistic here. Really, really sweet. Really, really sweet, I have to say. And, you know, like I said, all around nice of a statue. And he's got the blue right here on his arms here. Very, very nicely painted here. So, all around nice of a, uh, a statue, pretty much. Now, friends, pretty much, uh, you know, uh, Sigma is standing in a pose like he is ready for his battle with, with X. As his right fist uh, is up and uh, he flings his cape, you know, backwards. So, really, really cool, I have to say. So, anyway. so, despite no articulation, it's a very nice statue. As he stands at 8 inches from head to toe, pretty much. 
and but the way his cape is fling makes him uh, 10 inches taller so I mean um, a usual D arts figure would probably stand out to be uh, five inches or five inches I believe so you know making this three inches more taller than the original D arts line pretty much but um but so far no assembling is required he'll come to you like this pretty much then he'll also come with this little uh, figure stand here as you can see nicely uh, it's a nice see-through blue you know but uh, it's got the pegs here to where you can connect his feet you know and of course he's got the pegs uh, the peg holes so pretty much all around uh, nice huh uh, you can go ahead and, and I mean he he fits rather well just gonna take a little time for me to and time is what we don't have but I'm gonna go ahead and take this chance friends uh, but there you go pretty much just slides on in and he's on a nice platform you know which is really really cool so. one more thing before I do conclude this review friends is let me say this uh, if you guys are like well why did you say figure R zero Rockman X Sigma in uh, at the beginning of this review because I just want uh, um, you guys to be aware of where this guy is coming from and so on. So well, friends, despite the fact that we don't have articulation, this is a very, very nice statue. I do like the the uh, the fact that the uh, it, it this is giving him more like a, an effect, like he is definitely flinging his, his cape, you know, showing us that he is ready for his battle with X. Now on the back of here with the uh, cape, I love how they show that feature. They really capture that feature so well. And uh, really, really nice. They did a, a fantastic job on the paint job. And, you know, um, I mean, yeah, we can gripe with the fact that it doesn't have articulation, but still, you know, I mean, if you're like me, don't have a, uh, you know, a Sigma statue or figure in your collection, by all means, this is something you have to get. Um, of course, we do have... Uh, we, we do have the American version releases on uh, ones and we got the Japanese one. This is clearly the Japanese release one. Uh, let me warn you also, if you do tend to get the one with the box in, in it and everything, shipping will be a bitch. I will say it that way. But all in all, I do definitely recommend this uh, statue. He is very, very nice. And, you know, clearly there is no complaints, really. I mean, you know, we can complain about no articulation, but what can you do? We'll see what Figure Arts has to provide for us in the future when it comes to the to the Mega Man, Rock Man line. So, uh, anyway. Well, friends, that is it for this review. Please check out my blog, isgene421.com, for all your info on the channel, future views, future vlogs, you name it. And to remember to follow me on Twitter and to like my Facebook. And uh, friends, one more thing also. I will have some more pictures of this guy, you know, with poses with X and Zero and so on. So please check out my blog on that. But uh, anyway, well, this is a review on the uh, Figure Art Zero Rockman X Sigma. I hope you enjoy. Well, my friends, I'm Eugene. I'm signing out. And uh, have a good day. And my friends, I will definitely see you next time. Bye.